When I shut down at the end of the school day, it's almost like a ceremony because I really like to separate my school life from my home life. Because let's face it, this is important, right? Boundaries. As teachers, we need to set boundaries. And my after school routine that I'd love to share with you today is part of the way that I do that. My name's Elizabeth Peterson and I've been teaching for 23 years and I really have gotten to understand the value of separating myself, my personal life from my school's professional life. Now, don't get me wrong, when I'm at school, I am all in. And when I'm home, I just feel like it's really important for me to be all in for myself and for my family too. Now, if boundaries are important to you, go ahead and type the word boundaries in the comments. So once the school day is over, there are a few things I do as part of my after school routine that help me to just clear my head so that I can be ready to go home. Let's take a look. So the first thing I do is I clear off my desk because it's like a disaster by the end of the day. I wonder if you can relate. Go ahead and hit the like button if you can relate to a messy desk at the end of the day. All right, so anyway, so I just take a few minutes and it really only takes that long to do that. And I actually wipe it too. Uh, ever since the pandemic, we've just been using wipes like crazy. So I just wipe it down really quickly and make sure it's just nice and clean. And let me tell you, just having a cleared off desk just can get you into such a good clear mind so that you can leave school, feel like things are kind of set in place. And then let's face it, when you walk in the next morning, uh, having a cleared off desk and a little bit of an organized space, oh, it's just such a nice relaxing thing to come back to. Now, one of the next things I do is I get my whiteboard ready. And if I don't do it, in the afternoon I you know I have to do it in the morning and usually I am rushed in the morning no matter what I do so I like to just reset the schedule go ahead and erase anything that you know I know I'm not gonna need anymore uh, check my objectives of course make sure those are up to date and ready um, for the next day and then that's all for the whiteboard Okay, now it's time for papers. So usually during my prep time, if I have one, I will make sure that I have photocopied any papers that I'm gonna need for the next day. And sometimes I can, often I can plan ahead uh, for the rest of the week as well. Um, and then I start putting them into my hanging folder on my desk. And this little piece of uh, desk accessory is, such an important part of my organization. I talk about it in uh, a video that I will go ahead and link inside the description and you'll also see a card pop up. And while I'm on paper and figuring out what I'm doing for the week, I check over my schedule, make sure I have everything. If I have forgotten to make a copy or something, I'll toss it into my bin that I have for um, taking down to the office and just check my schedule. So I do this just in case I happen to be out the next day because <laughs> let's face it, life is unpredictable. And I have had plenty of those times when uh, you know one of my kids gets sick or something happens and I just need to be out the next day. There are some times when if I'm feeling a little under the weather, I'll even take a picture of my desktop so that I have an idea of what I was planning to do, where the materials are, just in case I have to scrounge up some emergency um, sub plans to send in to my colleagues. That way I have, I just have that feeling of being prepared just in case. And now it's time for some positive post-its. This is a great habit to get into where you take out some post-it notes or you can do note cards or index cards or whatever. Um, and then just write a couple, like two, three, four a day, uh, a couple notes to students and leave them on their desks for the next morning. And I might comment on something, you know, great that they did during the day or something that is going to be happening tomorrow and just, you know, anything to kind of boost their spirits for the for the next day. And it's just a great thing to be able to do. I talk a lot more about it in another video, so I'll definitely put a link to that in the description. 
and uh, I hope you enjoy maybe checking that video out next. And of course, sharpening pencils. Oh my goodness. I can't even get over how many pencils I go through. Um, I asked for so many donations from parents so that I would always have a ton on hand. And so I came up with this little thing where I have my Wonder Woman cup <laughs> and I always have a little handful of pencils for the students to be able to use. And I actually say if, they, um, if something's broken, they can come over and trade with Wonder Woman. One of the last things I do is check email and just make sure I've gotten to everybody during the day that I really need to. I leave things unopened if it's something I can put off till tomorrow or I will mark it as unopened so it will catch my attention the next day um, and, and just make sure that I don't have any issues that I need to deal with because my goal is to make sure I get out of work on time. And once everything is done, I ceremoniously close my computer and that is like my denotation that the school day is over and I can head out. And once that computer is closed and I stand up, I can just walk away from my classroom with a clear head knowing that everything is pretty much ready for the next day. And you know, some of my shutdown routine is my commute home, right? Just having that time and space between the end of my school day and the beginning of the rest of my day. And if you don't have a commute or you have a really short one, well, consider other things that you might be able to do that are, that just can separate those two things. Like maybe you go for a walk or maybe you call someone on the phone or maybe you have a song or a playlist that you can play that will just kind of set that boundary between your school day and the rest of your day. I can't stress enough how important it is to physically and ceremoniously separate the two things, right? Separate your school time and the responsibilities that come with that from your personal time. This is all about setting boundaries and setting boundaries is just so important and something I'm going to keep talking about on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified when some of those videos come out. In the meantime, I want you to check out this video that I just queued up for you. I think you might like that. And if creative teacher self-care is something that interests you, go ahead and check out this playlist right here. I've got a lot of strategies and ideas that have been working for teachers for a very long time, and maybe they'll work for you as well. All right, I'll see you over in one of those videos.